Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia Monet. For those of you who do not know, and if you do not know, well, 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 I just told you guys. So my setup is different, clearly. I am filming in my guest room because I have 50 pairs of shoes right here, you guys. And I just don't have room in my posh room, like I like to call it, to my office. And so we're just going to film in here. I'm probably going to keep them in here for a while because I don't think we're going to have guests coming over anytime soon. We just had guests and like I need to wash the sheets and stuff. So it'll be fine to keep them in here for now until I can get around to hopefully selling them very quickly or I don't know, making room. But today, you guys, as you can see, I have my thread up boxes behind me. I have one right here on the ground. This is the smallest one on the ground. I ordered the 50 pairs of shoes from a thread up and I'm just really excited to open it because I've been wanting to do this for a while now. So hopefully this goes swell, hopefully. My hopes is that at least half of this stuff can be um like resold or is in really good condition or maybe not like a really really good condition but good enough condition to sell it hopefully not all of it's bad let's hope you guys let's hope so i usually never really say this but just so you guys know i do sell on poshmark ebay and mercari it's beautiful bliss 7 for all three platforms i'm pretty sure for mercari i have to check but um i'm pretty sure but definitely for Posh, it's Beautiful Bliss 7 and eBay. So go check me out if you want to. I'll link my stuff down below. But all right, guys, so if you want to see the 50 pairs of shoes that I got, and I hope they're good, then keep on watching. So here's the first box. Here's the first one. It's kind of big. I'm going to start with the smallest one just because, I don't know, save the best for last, which I'm assuming is this. I think this is the biggest one. This one? Maybe this one? I don't know. Oh my god, here we go. Was this worth it, Asia? Was it worth it? I hope it was worth it. I really, really do. You've extended each rescue item's life by 2.2 years and reduced its waste of water and carbon footprint by 73%. Hmm. We'll see about that unless y'all send me crappy stuff. I'm so not ready for this, you guys. Not ready. It is kind of, is it packaged all the way? Yeah, so each one's packaged individually. I'm just gonna bring the camera around so you can see real quick. At least for this box. So it's all packaged individually. It comes like this, so hopefully the rest of them look like that. All right, here we go, here we go. Ugh, ah, this makes me so nervous. So the first item here, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna reuse all this tissue paper because yeah. All right, so like I said, the first shoe is this Nine West white patent leather sling back heel. It has like this corkscrew bottom. It's kind of dirty. There's like some dye transfer here. So that's fun. Um. I mean, I see why they didn't take these. <laughs> if I saw these down the wild, I don't know if I would pick them up. But, you know, I think if I work with them, we might be able to do something with these. Maybe, maybe not. Um, these are a size 8. I'm definitely going to check both shoes this time because last time, last time they gave me one pair of shoes with two different sizes, which I guess kind of equaled out to the same thing. It was like an 8.5 and, and then an 8 extra extra wide and then or is it just extra white I don't know and then but they also sent me some boots with two left boots and I was like what the heck but yeah number one not bad not bad at all but those are probably go for really cheap next 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 Ooh, these look cute next are soft um, that's a really good brand. I actually sell this brand. So here is the logo. That's what the logo looks like. And it's these are like some gold. <laughs> these are really like worn in. But these are like gold espadrille sneaker, fashion sneakers with like the bronze ribbon. They're really cute. I actually really like these. And um, I got both left and right 
left and right this time. Let's see. Ugh. Someone had a dog or a cat. These look really big, you guys. Like, okay, here's the size. These are a size thing. I cannot tell. Let me look at the other shoe. Oh, so these are a nine and a half. And these are leather upper man-made materials yep so they're leather upper which is nice oh yeah they smell like leather they do these are really cute i actually really like these so these are casey size a nine and a half i'm pretty sure she wears a nine and a half and she gets like first dibs on all the nine and a half shoes because that's just what we do but there is some pink wear here i might be able to get that out i don't know hopefully because these are kind of cute and yeah, but whoever had these had a dog because there's like a whole bunch of dog here in them. Wow, these are super cute. Super, super cute. I can't wait to photograph these only because I now know how to tie a ribbon thanks to Voyage is a Verb. If you have not seen their YouTube video, I will link it down below for you guys. It's like maybe like a minute long, but it will change your life forever. For the better at least. For the better. All right, let me make a separate pile for nine and a halves for Casey. All right, next. I should probably move along a lot quicker. We want this video to not be long. Okay, these are Cynthia Vincent. I'm not sure about that brand, but these are, um, they do have the leather stamp. There's seven and a half. Here are the shoes. They're like this crack it out. Yeah, crocodile or snake skin. It's like a greenish black, like an ombre effect kind of. It has a zipper here. Does it work? It does work. Ooh. I like them. They're not that bad. These, the inside has like a bronze, bronziness to it. Here is the logo Cynthia Vincent. And it does have the stamp here on the bottom like I was telling you about. So maybe they're a good brand. I don't know. But they also did stamp their, you can't really tell because of the bottom of the wear, but they have their CV stamped here. So something's telling me this is a decent brand. Somebody stepped on a bobby clip, you guys. You can see the imprint of the bobby clip. That's so funny. They must have been really stepping on it. Anyways, these are seven and a half, but this zipper here doesn't seem to go up. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. These aren't that bad. I don't know why they didn't take these. Well, they're so picky. Never mind. Let me stop asking that. All right. So far, so good. I was watching someone's box and they got like Dollar Tree shoes. I would have been really upset, like super upset. So BCB girls, BCB girls. And um, these I don't think are going to really sell for much. They look really worn in, really beat up. They have like this T strap, multi strap, open toe. I don't know what this is like. A, I don't know what you kind of what you call this type of heel, but it's like a wannabe wedge, but wannabe heel. You guys know what this is called. Leave it in the comments. Um, this is a size 8. They're my size. Made in Brazil, leather upper. Man-made lining and so. So, yeah. I mean, they don't look terribly bad, like, looking in the camera. But there's a lot of, like, nicks and stuff on it. And just for this brand, just I just don't think it's going to sell that much for this. I'll probably let these go real, real 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 fast send me an offer you can have them oh these were like separated these are kenneth cole and they are this big chunky heel it has like a slight round slash pointed toe mm. yeah they're like a purple like a Okay, yeah, I had to check, but these are definitely purple. And they are Kenneth Cole, made in Spain. 
The inside is cracking all around. You see that? Definitely cracking. There's cracking there. It is made in Spain. These are size eight and a half. There's like a lot of wear on the bottoms here. But I mean, I don't know. We'll try. And there's creases where the toes been. You can see that. I don't know. These are okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't pick these up if I saw them out. Just be these are a really big eight and a half. Dang. Maybe because of the toe. I was gonna show you guys what it looked like on my foot. It looks really big, but uh, my foot is so ashy. But yeah, these are both eight and a half, so that's good. I don't know about these, you guys. I'll definitely list them. I don't know. I might not list these. These are a little too worn for me, so we'll see. Next, flats. Flats, flats, flats. Okay, someone's dog hair, pet hair is on there. These are some flip-flops, some sandals, whatever you call them. I call them flip-flops. And it has, I don't know if this is leather. It probably isn't. These feel really, really cheap. Um, let's see. Textile upper, yep. So these are not even leather. These are uh, an eight. They look really big. I'm an eight. Okay, so these are like an eight wide, and this is just what it looks like. It has this some um, cotton or cloth right here. It has a little bit of cushion on the inside, and then this thong strap here. I mean, they're in really good condition because they're probably a really cheap brand. I mean, they feel cheap. I don't know. This is called Tide Water. Yeah, they both look like they haven't been worn. Size eight size eight next oh I'm getting a lot of sandals which I kind of figured would happen because people would probably get rid of their like summer stuff and thread up obviously isn't taking them because it's it's summer I mean it's winter you know they like to keep stuff and get stuff that's on trend so these are another pair of slides they kind of look like you know, the Birkin, Birkenstock with the straps going on here. I mean, I really like the strap, but these feel so cheap also. These are Tenzi. I don't know, made in China. These are a size, a woman's eight, men's six. Tenzi, Tenzi, cheap flats, sandals. I mean, I actually might keep them, they're my size. These could probably be like good walking around the house shoes or like I need to throw some shoes on go to the car real quick I forgot something these are those shoes definitely definitely okay next ooh I see some booties I love some booties all right so I have these black booties here first glance they look good not too much wear the zippers let's see if they work they work well at least this one does <laughs> let me try both okay they work um it has a nice thick block heel here chunky heel um i don't know what brand this is though m m i a i think mia I can't really tell it has like um it has like stamped letters but it's so worn off i can't really see it um but these are all man-made materials yeah so i'll do some research on these but they're just basic black booties they feel really nice like they feel like they're good quality but they're all man-made vegan leather faux leather however you want to leathernize it <laughs> i'm not funny i'm not funny at all okay uh but these are a size hmm who knows who knows they look like my size okay so they are a size eight hmm a lot of eights at least you know so far i'm getting like decent sizes because i was worried i would get like a lot of 
small sizes like six and a halves, five and a halves, which there's nothing wrong with selling those, but they're a little bit harder to sell, you know, so I was hoping to get a lot of normal, not normal, but common sizes. So this is good. Next are Stuart Weitzman. Hmm, wow. And they're, they are these kitten heels, kitten sling back heels. Um, these are a size seven and a half. But it doesn't say anything else, so I don't know if it's leather, pleather, suede, fake suede, canvas. This is definitely canvas right here, but I don't know if it's patent leather. Really, really shiny. Stuart Weisman. I'll definitely sell these for sure. But yeah, they look nice from the front. Nice little kitten heel if that's your thing. Some sling backs. The bottoms are worn, definitely worn, but I think it's okay. But it doesn't say anything else about like the leather. I mean, leather. It doesn't say anything else about the material. So I'm just gonna assume these are just canvas and patent leather. Size seven and a half. Yes. Oh. My face itch. I gotta be careful not to scratch my face. So these are the last shoes in this box, which is the small box. And last, but ow, ow, the floor hurts. Definitely, not least, are, oh, these are cute. Oh, I think they're broken. I don't know, but they're, they're, they're kind of cute. Look at them. So it has the T-strap, it has like a little bow and <laughs> it has the leather stamp there but it's printed on not stamped on so that's how i know that's not true and i have no idea what brand these are these probably maybe like a costume costume shoe or something but you see like the the opening here i don't i don't know what the deal is here i'm thinking it was it's broken but then it's like is it supposed to come like that or <laughs> That's why I'm thinking it's a costume shoe. Okay, I think I figured it out. So this is how you wear it. It literally is like a quick, like a quick put together. You just slide it right into that first hole and bada bing, bada boo, your shoe is on. So I'm thinking these are like a costume type shoe. I mean, they look really nice. I would never wear them, but they look like they haven't even been worn. They probably was worn for like Halloween or something. Okay, well. There we go, figured out how to do it. I don't even think these have a size on them. Size 240, no idea what that is. No idea. Let's see, if it fits my foot, it's not gonna fit my foot. Oh, it does fit my foot, but it's a little tight. So I'm thinking these are a seven to seven and a half. Okay first box so I don't think that box was that bad uh we got let's see one two three four pairs of shoes that maybe are no brand or really low quality brand and then some good shoes that we could probably resell all right let's move on box number two we have three boxes you guys so hang in there with me don't leave me don't leave me don't leave me Casey, I'm sorry, but only one pair of shoes fits you so far. But I'm hoping there's some more in this box for you. You guys should definitely go follow Casey. She's my PFF and she's amazing. So go follow her. I'll link all her stuff down below for you guys. All right, box number two. All right, so box number two is packaged the same way as the first box was, like I showed you guys. So they're all individually wrapped, or at least that's what it looks like so far, and we're just gonna get right in it. All right, so next is Wild Diva. I actually got this last time in my last thread up rejects shoe box i actually got seven pairs and wild diva was one of them and they sold pretty fast to me like i think wild diva has on trend 
like shoes they're just not the best quality you know they're like those fast fashion type of places like fashion nova and forever 21 like you don't buy their shoes hoping they'll last forever you buy them because they're in style and you can wear them a few times so this is wild diva wild diva lounge actually actually this is the logo and then i'm trying to like i guess i could pull that up there you go and they're really cute like super cute these are a size five so yep here we go small sizes but they look to be in really good condition i mean the bottoms are really dirty but it doesn't look like they were worn too much oh my god wow wowzers so i'm probably just gonna list these like extremely cheap like i'm talking about like five to seven dollars because this heel is jacked like super jacked look at that it looks like it just the other heel like digged into it unfortunate but i mean it's not like this was like a really high quality brand and these zippers i don't think work i don't know if they're just for show but okay maybe they're just for show i mean either way you just slip your foot right in there but these are super cute i really like these sucks the heels kind of messed up because they're already a cheap brand but i'll probably list these for like five bucks on ebay not including shipping because they're so cute. so cute all right i see some booties i'm definitely gonna list like all the boots and stuff first this is report and they're just some slip-on brown booties there's no zipper or anything it has gold buckles they seem to be in really good condition um i think one of the like heels hill <laughs> digged in dug into the bottom here or the toe here it happens you know i'm not too upset about it report doesn't really like i wasn't planning on selling report for much so i know these will at least you know 15 15 bucks i'm thinking 15 20 i don't know i need to get them listed fast though because it's warming up some places and we're gonna be stopped wearing boots soon but as far as the size these are a seven and a half so i actually want to keep them myself because these look like a big seven and a half like a big seven and a half but yeah so these are definitely more like an eight i don't know why they say these are seven and a half their sizings are way off yeah these are definitely like a seven and a half so i'm actually might keep these for myself so that's that did i say more like seven and a half i mean like more like eight but if you want them feel free oh i should mention this if you guys see any shoes you want please comment down below i will get to however many of you i can i will ship them to you via like paypal so yeah if you want something just either dm me on what you call it ig with your paypal and however much you know whichever shoes you want and i'll get them sent out to you asap all right next <clears throat> oh these are so cute look at these so they're definitely like a um a sandal um but yeah look at that that is so cute these are an eight and a half these are kendall and kylie which is um i actually sold some of their stuff before they have really like nice pieces I think they're a little I think they're affordable I don't know my pan I've only got them for PacSun I know some of their stuff could probably be a little pricey but the stuff they sell at PacSun is affordable and I, I really do think these are super cute and I think they will sell huh I don't know how I would like I don't want to take the picture like this though because that looks really bad I'll probably just take it from the side I'll probably find a stock photo or something or you know what they're almost my size. They're a size bigger. I'll paint my toes. I'll model them. But these look to be in really, really good condition. Not worn too much on the bottoms here. And whoever wore them had nice clean feet. So that's good. You can see kind of their toe imprints down here. But I think it'd be fine. Let's see. These are leather upper. Okay, so this is not real suede. This is full suede. So leather upper though. So that's nice. Next is, 
Urban, Urban something. Let me look at the other shoe. Urban Vice, I think, or, oh, Urban Vibe. Yeah, Whew. Jesus, those were dusty. Urban Vibe, and they're a size seven. They're just patent leather, kind of pointed heels, pumps, and, but these look really beat up. Like, there's a whole bunch of scratches on them, especially on like the heel. Look like some dog or cat chewed on them right here. The insides all like coming up. These are not very good condition at all. I don't even know this brand, Urban Vibe. Anyways, they're size seven, so I'll probably just redonate these, to be honest. TBH. Next, 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 next. Ooh, I see some satin. If they're satin. So these are the heels. These are really cute. These remind me of like prom season, maybe even wedding or bridesmaid, but they're so cute. Look at that. There are two missing here, which I've already noticed. And there's some missing on this one, but the other side looks good. So I'm thinking, let's see. Oh, I was gonna say maybe the outsides look good, but no. These are a size five and the brand is La Sonia. They could be clean up a little bit. So there are some pools, but it's fake satin. So that's that. I don't know about these. I don't know about those. So next are these textured glitter, silver glitter, black and silver glitter or black and glitter heels and pretty steep heel. These are a size six platform looks like about two inch platform or inch and a half and the brand is um i don't know what this brand says i don't know this brand but dang they had these a really long time or whoever sent them in like did not clean them out look at that these things are dusty af that's freaking gross i mean i think they're really pretty heels but i don't know anything about this brand <laughs> look how dusty that is oh my god that is so sad even like the outside is dusty what the heck who just like clean off your stuff before you donate it that's gross gross af oh my god i can't i can't with them i, I just i can't do it all right next is a prima royale prima royale and these are look like they're wide whatever size they are they look to be in really good condition like they were barely worn it's just like an oxford hill type booty not booty like an oxford type hill and like the crocodile skin looking but they feel really cheap and these are a size these are a size 11 and these are all man-made materials. Are these 11? Yeah, these are a size 11. So this one feels a lot heavier than this one though. Like super a lot heavier. This is how they look. They look really good condition. Doesn't even look like they were worn, size 11. These are Indigo Road. And wow, these are actually really nice. I actually really like these. Um, I don't know about this brand, but these are really nice. They're like slip-ons. They are like crocodile prints or pattern, I guess you could say. Slip-ons, they kind of remind me of the uh, Steve Madden ones. These are a man-made upper leather sole. So that's nice. And they are a size 5.5 .5, and that sucks because I actually really like these. I was looking at some, I was looking at the Steve Madden ones because I wanted to get some. There's these pink ones that are, I think they're suede. So they're really pretty. They kind of look just like this. Doesn't seem too much wear. Clearly, I mean, they were worn, but not too much wear. I gotta clean the soles some. But I don't doubt these will sell. Wait, I don't doubt these will not sell. Is that the wording? I don't doubt these will sell. Yeah, I know they'll sell. I don't doubt it. There you go. I don't know why that took me so long. 
Come on, Asia. Get it together. Get it together. These are dirty. Okay, these are, oh wow, Tiva. So, some Tiva shoes. I just gotta clean them. They look like someone just went outside with them and was like, oh, I don't want them anymore. Let me donate them. These are 50% recycled rubber. If you're into that or it really matters to you. But yeah, they're really nice. They don't look like they have that much wear on them. They are a size, let me check. Let me show you the other shoe first. Not bad, okay. These are a size, they're really stiff. Okay, they're size um, seven. Nope, they're size eight and a half. Yeah, US eight and a half. And there's a style number, so I'll be able to look up the name of these. So it's pretty good, not bad, I like them. We might have to take a little intermission so I can redo all these stuff. Oh my God, these are so hmm, ugly. So these are punk rows and I remember I used to have, wear those shoes when I was younger. Not like younger, like a kid, but well, I guess I was a kid in high school. Punk rows and there's these sequins, silver pumps. They're a size 8.5 and it has like a rounded toe. It's a little bent in right there, but for the most part, they look really decent. Like they've barely been, oh. <laughs> look really decent like they've barely been warm the inside's a little dirty so someone had dirty feet to yeah, nasty I need to clean it out but 8.5 no toe stains so that's nice but there's this mark right here let me show you guys this is mark right here that i need to clean out these are made in china it doesn't say anything so they're probably all man-made material which Probably is probably no leather so no leather anything. Eight and a half. Massimo. Massimo. Why are you sending me Massimo? I knew that was gonna happen though. I knew it. It's cool. I got Massimo last time. I still have them. They're not gonna sell. But they're they are like these white slip-on shoes. They're really dirty, so I'll need to clean them. But luckily, you know, they're white, so it'll be easy to clean. These are a um, size eight. They're my size. It's from Target. And they came out in 2016. If that counts for anything, I don't know. Probably not, but not that worn. These actually smell like, these smell brand new. So someone probably wore them like once or twice. Nothing special. Size eight. Oh, before you guys come for me in the comments, I just want to address this shoe situation here. So, yes, I know it's nasty to put your shoes on beds, especially other people's shoes, but this blanket needs to be washed. We had guests over and I haven't had a chance to wash the sheets yet. And so I'm going to be washing this bed set anyway. So I'm okay with having the shoes on the bed for now. So keep your comments to yourself about how nasty, how dirty I am. I know, it's okay. But I don't think any of you guys have done that because you guys are great. They see people who watch me consistently. All right, now that I have space down here, let's move on. Move Cole Han or Cole Han. These feel really cheap though. Oh, they're the Nike Air ones, that's why. Because they're really light. Okay, so some Kohan here. Kohan. Maybe Han. I don't know. Kohan. And it's like rounded toe. They're wedges. Mini wedges. They uh, feel like leather. I don't know. Maybe it's on the bottom. Okay. It's not on the bottom. And unless it's underneath here, which I don't. Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay. U.S. patent made in China. Seven and a half. So it doesn't say anything about what material this is, but... This is really soft, so I don't know, maybe, maybe it is. The bottoms though seem that like they haven't even been worn, which is great, but I know they have because of the creasing. I don't know if it's supposed to be this color. It looks like it. Looks like it's supposed to be that color. I was thinking maybe like it faded over time or something, but these are a size seven and a half and they're, okay, yes, yeah, so these are seven and a half. No, I think they're kind of like 
they'll be cute for somebody it's not necessarily my style but they'll be cute oh my god i love this brand they make some great shoes so this is aldo here's the logo i will show you the inside this stuff is so dusty oh my god i will show you the inside but it's like rubbed off so you can't see it but how cute are these like how 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 cute are these okay i really like these so of course they're not my size of course they are a size six i feel like all the cutest shoes are always in like the smallest sizes like no i don't wear a six i don't wear a five and a half i wear an eight give me a cute shoe in a size eight please okay i'm just kidding there's plenty of cute shoes out there that are size eight i just don't want to buy them i just mean like when i get misty boxes like this i want them to be my size and cute but yeah so these are super cute slip on silver i gotta clean them up a little bit but wow i love these i know these are sell for sure auto makes really good shoes and yeah i definitely know these will sell definitely gotta clean the bottom though these are really dirty birdie are they both the same size please be the same size they are and they it doesn't say anything about the material yeah it doesn't say anything about the material and it doesn't smell like leather it smells like funky feet so who knows wow these feel really soft okay so g-o-x or g-e-o-x uh respiria hmm. italian patent they feel really soft. I wouldn't be surprised if these were real suede and like real leather and stuff. It doesn't say anything. They're 38.5, which I think is like an eight and a half. So they're really pretty. I don't know. I really like them. They look to be in really good condition. So I'm assuming this is an Italian brand. And let's look at the other one. There isn't like much peeling. It's a little bit like on this side. But I definitely sold suede boots before that um, had a lot of peeling on them and they still sold. I mean, I don't know, just depends on the brand, I guess. 38.5, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't say anything else. So I'm not sure, but I'll definitely look these up and see like what they're made of and what I can possibly get for them. Oh, here's the logo. There's the logo. Yeah. My hands are ashy, y'all. So ashy. Messing with all these shoes. Got me ashy. I'm just kidding. I probably was ashy before. Massimo. Massimo. Come on. Thread up. Obviously, if you don't want Massimo, I don't want Massimo. Must be serious. Oh, these are a seven and a half and they are all man-made material from Target. It was this patent leather, like blush pink, flat, pointed toe flat with like the gold trim in the back. And this is what they look like. Yeah, that's, that's really it. And this one looks a little beat. So yeah, that's not going to sell. These are probably I'm just going to donate. I mean, if I could fit them, maybe I'll keep them. I think about them, but I probably just want to donate them. Ooh, I see some funky colors. Funky, funky colors. Kinsey. These are, ugh. These look really, really bad. Like, super, super bad. All right, so here is the brand. Kinsey. Can you see that? Kind of. There you go, Kinsey. And these are the shoes, but they're just so like, I don't know if they're supposed to look like this or they just look really bad. They're textured for sure, but I don't know if it's supposed to like look like this, like it's just peeling, you know? It does have like this ruffle green trim with the brown on it i honestly don't like these it has the pointed toe pointed round toe the bottom is purple they look like they weren't worn as much but 
I just don't know about these. I'm gonna have to look these up to see like how they're supposed to look. Um, cause they look pretty beat up to me. These are the Bristol style. They are leather upper, balanced, man-made, made in China, and they're size seven. So yeah, I'll definitely um, look it up. I actually end up looking it up while I edit this video, and I'll post like right here on the bottom if they're supposed to look like that or not. But my guess is, I don't know, the whole shoe looks like that, so maybe they are. It just doesn't really look that good to me. I don't know. Oh, this box is getting low. Da Vinci Paris. What? Nah. Nah, these fake. These fake. Da Vinci. And so they're these pink, like, or not pink. <laughs> they're white with the pink inside. And I mean, it says Da Vinci all over it, but I don't know, you guys. I have to definitely like look at them, get them verified and stuff. It says it on the inside. The stitching, there's like stitching on the inside. I mean, they look well made. Um, let's see, they're made in Portugal. Yeah, they're made in Portugal. They're a size 37 and a half, which I think is a seven and a half. I mean, they don't look that bad. I don't, just don't know if these are real or not. I Something telling me they're not. You know, I'll have to get them verified, but. Like, I wish you guys could really see like the inside of it, like the stitch, besides that dirty spot, but the stitching like on the inside looks really good. Like all over, it looks really, really good. So I don't know, I have to check. See what we got going on here. These are a size seven and a half, I believe. Or maybe nine and a half. Am I wrong? Or eight and a half? Is a 37 and a half, eight and a half? I thought a 38 was a US eight. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so Javinci Paris white tennis shoes they feel good show me shall she i was looking at these i saw like this part right here and i thought oh maybe they give me some like old school nike shoes that'd be cool but if those are real then that'd be cool too next okay so these are another pair of soft shoes which i actually really like selling soft i think their shoes are really nice um they're really like freaking oh this is so gross there's like hair all over the shoes, like human hair, human hair, like how? Human hair, pet hair, they're gross. But they're just mini kitten, mini kitten heels. They're kitten heels with like a round toe. This is like, um, it feels like like a wool kind of. Um, I don't think it is. These are a seven and a half and yeah, so upper leather seven and a half has like these little tassels on there i know tassels are going to be in <laughs> this uh sorry i'm sorry i just i can't with all this hair it's so gross i know tassels are in or like at least going to be in in upcoming season but i don't know about this you know i don't know about this particular shoe but the bottoms look like they're not really they haven't been worn that much which is great so i don't think they will not sell i think they will sell i just it'd probably be the right buyer you know but everything has a buyer it's okay looking you know it's a, it's all right so did i say what size i did these are a seven and a half so this these are robert Lindsay, robert Lindsay, and these are a size 38 and they're just these they're kind of flattened out but they're like slip-on shoes like flats and I don't know they're just they're okay looking there's like stitches on it but they're printed on if that makes sense they're not like actual stitches it has like a bow on the front like teal on the inside green on the inside these are a size oh 38 I said that and I don't know I don't know about this brand but the tag like looks really nice it's like stitched in actually it might be glued in <sighs> who knows but the bottoms haven't 
or like brand new haven't been worn i just don't know about this brand so i definitely need to like take a look at it um there's a little bit of wear on this one like on the back but i really think it's just because that you know the way they packaged this up because the bottoms weren't the bottoms are like brand new they weren't used so i don't know about those but they're cute next um is this a slug oh <laughs> sack roots okay so these are some sandals they're like plasticky like heavy duty plastic sandals i thought that was a slug like i don't oh, i don't know um the brand is sack roots size eight it has like this really 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 miniature heel it's kind of cute and i really like the design i think they're really cute for spring and summer and they both are a size eight doesn't look like they've been used maybe that's not a slug i don't know it might get slug that's so gross oh and then this one says peace on it so you got a slug and peace look at that look at that Ugh. Kohan again wow okay these actually are really nice so has like a black heel and they're just uh open toe sandal with the different color straps so like color block I guess you could say Kohan they are the Nike Air ones so they are kind of lightweight these are made in China oh it says sample are these like Hmm, I wonder what that means. Maybe these aren't like real shoes. Not like not real, you know, but like they never came out. I don't know. Anyway, so these are a six. I don't know, I think they're really cute. At least they're in really good condition. This is a good brand, so I know they'll sell. So that's good. Really cute. And last pair for this box. And then we got one more box up here, the biggest box of them all. These are Earth Origins. I actually, um, I think I've sold a pair of Earth shoes before. And these are super, super cute, you guys. They're like these gladiator sandals with the different shades of blue and the silver in it. And actually, yeah, silver, like silver bronzy. And it has like the double buckle. You can zip it up. These are really cute. I hope these are Casey size because she might like these. Oh, they're not. They're seven and a half. Sorry, girl. I thought about you though. That's all that counts. So these are a seven and a half and they are leather and synthetic upper. So some parts are probably leather, some parts aren't, but they're really, really nice. I like these. Actually, I think I'm going to keep these for myself. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I really am going to keep these for myself. Aren't they cute? Like, oh wait, I'm saying like, aren't they cute on the back? I mean, yeah, they're cute, but like there's no wear on the bottom, but like they've barely been worn and yeah. Earth, I know, I think the last pair of Earth shoes I had sold for maybe think 25 to 30 dollars um but i actually kind of want to keep these so i don't think i'm gonna sell them well hopefully if the other one zips up it does all right they're so cute okay you guys last box the biggest box i think this was the biggest one actually now i'm looking at it it might not have been the biggest one but i think it's the heaviest one give me something good I mean, I actually think they're pretty good now. I think maybe I was only a little upset about maybe two, which is kind of like the Massimo ones. But I mean, I can't really be that upset because let's be serious. I should have known they were going to send me Massimo. All right. And the last box is packed full. They're all individually wrapped as well again. So let's get into this. Hopefully I get some like really cool brands. I don't know. And more nine and a halves. So these are uh, Eldolino or Andolino, something flexible. Oh, Bandolino. <laughs> these are Bandolino, not Andolino. The bees faded. 
and I don't know about this brand either, but these are leather upper size eight textile lining. Wow, there's a lot of eights in this box. Well, like in the the collection. So they're just ballet flats, black. It has like the layering thing here, size eight. These are leather, so that's kind of nice. I actually have been wanting, here I go again, saying I wanted to keep these. I've actually been wanting a pair of like black ballet flats. So I'll see how much these like are worth. And if they're worth anything, then I might sell them. If they're not, then I'll keep them for myself. I wish they kind of sent, sometimes I wish they sent like men's shoes. I don't know if they've ever sent men's shoes out or they just really cater to like women's because I've always been watching like other people unbox it, but I've always only seen women's shoes. So I'm just wondering like, has anyone ever gotten men's shoes or do they just not even sell men's shoes? Now that I'm thinking about it, like, I don't ever remember like going on the website and looking for men's stuff. I always look for women's stuff, so I don't know. But anyways, so the next shoe are Crocs, and I am not a personal fan of Crocs, but I know a lot of people are, so that's cool, I got Crocs. They're white, so they have like the little strap here, and they're just some basic flats, basically. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs. Look like they have not been worn. Um, Crocs are really light. I didn't realize how light they were. These are, I wonder where, what are Crocs even made out of? Like, who knows? I'm sure a lot of people do. These are from Boulder, Colorado. And these are a women's eight. Hmm. These are also slip resistant, which is good. So I'm actually think I'm going to, when Alistis put slip resistance in the like description or maybe the title, especially on eBay because that would probably help them sell maybe like work shoes work shoes you know anyways size eight. Oh, what about kids shoes like do they also receive kids shoes oh actually these might be kids shoes <laughs> oh let's see what brand are these these are so so brand i think i can't really see it i think that's like walmart The logo, the little circle that says so in the middle, I can't remember what it stands for. Maybe it just doesn't stand for anything. It just means so, but I'm pretty sure that's a Walmart brand. So it's these, oh, it's these like high top glitter star painted paint splatter, silver pink shoes. These are definitely kids shoes. These are a size four. They're really nice. They're really cute, you know, really cute. But I'm pretty sure they're Walmart, which isn't which isn't bad. I don't I don't mind. I don't I don't see these not selling just because they're really cute and they'll be perfect for like summer and spring because of all the bright colors. I just gonna clean them up a little bit, but I think these will be good. Let's see. Maybe so is Target. I'm not completely sure, but I know it's one of those two. These are. Oh, they're actually Kohl's. Okay, that's what it says on here, they're Kohl's. So these are leather outer, man-made upper, so that's cool. So Kohl's, I completely forgot about Kohl's, but like, aren't they cute? I actually might see if Casey's daughter wants them. I don't know what size she wears. She might not even be like this big yet. I don't know, we'll see. But they're cute. All right, next, 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 next. These feel really soft, like leather, because they are, they are made well. Wow, okay, I, I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm gonna keep going, but I just mean I'm gonna stop right here. My expectations so far has definitely surpassed what I thought this was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be like, just horrible, 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 you know? I really thought that I was gonna get like a lot of Target, a lot of Walmart, which isn't nothing bad with those, but I know I'm gonna make my money back on those, like Dollar Tree or Dollar General, a whole bunch of unnamed brand stuff. Like I really thought that was gonna happen. So I'm really surprised that it's actually going pretty well. So these are Maywell. These are actually, I've only ever sold one Maywell thing and these are leather upper. You can definitely tell these feel really nice. And look at these, wow. They're a little, 
you know creased up but after i stuff them i think they'll be fine um i'll definitely need to clean the inside because somebody had dirty toes and the bottoms don't look that bad wow these are a size eight which is my size <laughs> actually when it comes to like slip-on shoes i actually need to size down to a seven and a half i think most people do but yeah, these are really nice. Oh, let me show you the toes. So the toes does have some wear on it, but honestly, I think these would go, these would still sell. I obviously just couldn't sell them for as much as maybe the next person who has better looking ones, but I think this would be fine. Yeah, they look pretty, they look decent. Next, I see some wedges. Um, Diva? I don't know. So there's this canvas like corkscrew i don't know if that's what it's called like i just always call it that it just looks like a wine corkscrew to me anyways canvas sling back wedge these would be perfect for spring spring is coming and um it has like a buckle on the side that's silver they're eight and a half don't look like they've really been worn that much or at least they've been taken care of there is some like like dirtiness and maybe stains like right here that I'll need to clean off but other than that I think they're I think they're fine you know there's some like creasing on the inside but it's not peeling so that makes me you know happier and like I said these are eight and a half textile upper textile so so man made they're really kind of, they're like they're like heavy but not that heavy I've definitely felt wedges that have been super heavy that's why I don't like wedges Anyways, so next are some high tops. These are Nike. What? Oh, these are men's shoes. Maybe boy shoes. They even have like the thing on the inside. These are, so they're Nike high tops. Green, blue. They're really like stiff still. So whoever had them took good care of them. Clearly, they probably kept them in like the box. Um, there are a few marks on like the canvas part, but or the suede part, but I can definitely clean that off. These look really good, actually. Really good. These are, let's see, it says 6.0. So what size are these? These are a US 8.5. So, I mean, they look like a woman's 8.5. Actually, let me see. Yeah, these look like a woman's eight and a half. They look really good, you guys. Like, super good. I don't know how much I've sell these for. I'll just have a look and see how much the style is going for and go from there. I might sell them on Facebook Marketplace. These could be, you know, unisex girl or boy shoes. Next, okay, so I think this box has mainly tennis shoes in it, which is cool. I don't mind selling tennis shoes. These are New Balance shoes i really like these and they are just like basic black white running shoes workout shoes they have like the breathable material down here by the toe these says new balance 247 <laughs> okay 24 7 and these are a size six so i know these will sell for sure they look to be really good condition. Um, one thing to look out for when it comes to like workout shoes is like the wearing, because let's be serious, workout shoes, they wear. So if you're gonna resell them, at least make sure the sole looks really good because someone else is gonna, you know, wear them down. So that'd be silly for you to buy them and try to resell them. And then, you know, they only get like a few uses out of them. These are, wait, are these two different shoes? oh no never mind yeah so these are a size six they do have the style on it so that's cool i can like look it up but these are nice i like these these will definitely sell i think i'm liking this box a little better you guys y'all know i love athletic stuff next is more nikes so these are purple white and green nikes um these are a size these are a youth size these are 6.5 youth so i think that is a eight 
to maybe eight and a half women's yeah because i know i could wear youth shoes so these are actually still really good condition like wow i'm surprised i got these i don't think i will have a problem making my money back with this box this shoe is a little bit more worn in but i still think it is so there's like no discoloration on them discoloration on them i think it i think it's good i see why this box is like heavier all all tennis shoes well so far that's what it's looking like which is good because i really didn't want all heels although i don't mind selling heels i just don't want all heels so this next brand is not rated i remember seeing this somewhere i think this is like a department store brand i'm not sure which department store but i think it's a department store brand i could be wrong but not rated they're just like boat shoes white canvas boat shoes um they have memory foam in them, so they're really nice feeling. These are a size seven, and they look to be like in good condition, lightly worn, but like I said, I think this is like a department store brand, so I don't think they'll go for much, but these are man-made materials as well. Size seven, but I do love some boat shoes. I'll wear the mess out of my Sperry's for real i've had them for years you guys like years they really last these look beat up unless they're supposed to look like this Volcom. this is definitely walmart walmart i'm pretty sure and these are like really linty so they're just basic flats tennis shoes thin sole tennis shoes but it looks like something busted in the wash and it has like all the little like tissues on it like yeah i'm probably just gonna donate these let's be serious but these are a size if you are interested in them they're a size seven and a half made in vietnam size seven and a half just small tennis shoes these are a black and white i'm probably just gonna donate those i love 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 selling chucks and these are really pretty so these are floral these are floral print chucks and there's like a spot here but now that i'm looking at the other side i think it's supposed to be there so i think that's just part of the pattern but look at these aren't these adorable the purples the blues like these are so nice so nice these are a size eight yeah so i'm thinking the yellow is supposed to be there which is cool because i was like oh my god it's stained but I definitely need to clean like the soles Further than that, like they're really cool. They're really nice. I actually really like these. Next, these feel nice. Antonio Milani. Why do I feel like that's a good brand? I don't know. You guys, by the way, if you haven't told, can t if you can't tell already, like I'm not the most knowledgeable reseller out there. I just like to get boxes and unbox them. So don't don't get at me for it but i always do like to include like the information on the bottom of the screen for you guys to help you out but anyway so it's these soy <laughs> hair it was so close to my mouth it's these uh these are size six you can clearly see that there's a stain there but they're really soft i don't know if these are um what's, where's the care tag these are leather upper leather sock man-made lining man-made sole these are a size six so they might be real suede like it's so soft oh my god they're crazy soft but there are stains on them which kind of sucks but this is the inside of the hill which i've actually sold a pair of shoes like that with where it had like a really big stain on the inside of the hill but because it was on the inside i think that's why it's still sold and they're really nice Look at the like detail on the back, you guys. Isn't that nice? These are a size six. Yeah. Other than this stain right here, which I'm assuming why they didn't take it, um, they look pretty decent. The inside looks like they barely been worn. I don't see no nasty behind toe marks, so that's good. Um, the heels look good, the bottoms look good. It all looks good. All right, I might need to take another break because we're running out of the room. Whoa, 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 whoa. So 
Sorrel or is it Sorrel? 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 Anyways, WTF? Probably because of this. WTF? Wow. I gotta get these listed like ASAP. They smell brand new still. Oh my God. Wow. I cannot believe this. What the? What the? What the heck? They're in really good condition. Let's look at the other boot. That's probably what made them so heavy. Oh, that's what it is. This right here, this is why they didn't take it. So this right here is broken, but honestly, that doesn't stop you from wearing the boot. Like, let's be serious, it doesn't. So I don't think I would have a problem selling these. Um, obviously, I would just disclose that. So if you guys you know, are interested, just know that that's broken. And I feel like that's an easy fix, you know? You could just get another clasp for the inside because that's where the, the inside one is broken. Just get another clasp for the inside. Wow, that is so crazy to me. They are an 8.5. I don't even want to keep going, but we still got some more shoes. We're almost done. I'm sorry this video is like super long. Actually, I'm not sorry. You guys, y'all, if y'all still here, you're the real MVP. So these are Fizzy Goblet. These are really like cheap filling. And yeah, but they're kind of cute. You know, they're cute shoes, but they're really cheap filling. These are a, these are so poorly made. They are a size um, 60. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think they're a size eight. Someone wrote size eight on the inside here. So they're probably a size eight. Uh, let's see. There's no information as far as like, it definitely touched my face, that's gross. There's no information as far as like um, material, but busy goblet. I'm probably just gonna donate these. Yeah. They look handmade. Maybe they are. Let me not knock it until I do some research. So size eight, I think. At least that's what they wrote on the box. I don't know who wrote it, but that's what they wrote. These are tennis shoes and these are Nikes. Another pair of Nikes. These are some white Nike Running shoes, maybe training shoes because of this like thick sole, I'm thinking. Um, these are size 8.5. Dang, why cannot these be white? I mean, white, why can't these be my size? I'm like waiting for a pair of Nikes to pop out that are my size. But anyways, so they're size eight. They look to be like in really good condition. They're just a really, they're a little bit dirty, but honestly, I think these would sell for sure look to be super good condition like I don't see any real problems with it maybe because it is like bent so I, I'm pretty sure whoever used to wear this probably like put their foot in and bend it down I can't stand when people do that I hate when people do that just because like you're, you're ruining your shoe but I'm sure if I just work with it try to bend it back it'll probably be good but I'll definitely like disclose that and the listing. These are a size 8.5 if I did not say that. Next. Next, next, next. I have four more pairs of shoes, I think, or three more pairs. Rockin' Candy by Ziggy. So these are like knockoff Sperry's, boat shoes. They are rockin' candy. The bottom of it kind of just feels like one of those cheaply made shoes, kind of like Walmart. I don't know where rockin' candy sold. These are a size, um, hmm. the style of shoes called Boathouse. They're synthetic upper. Ew, gross. Someone's like sock is in here, that's so gross. Their pantyhose sock is inside of it. Anyways, um, these are a size six. Not much to it, but also not that, I don't know. I don't know about these either. Next, some wedges. 
pull these out. They feel really soft, um, like memory foam. They're called Spring Step Leather Upper PU Sole. I don't know what PU Sole means, but they are made in Italy and they're just these like sling back wedges. It has some geometrical cutouts, I guess they could be, nah, geometrical cutout, kind of like snowflakes. And yeah, it says leather upper. So this part though definitely feels and looks fake. Not that it probably was like trying to pretend that it was something real, but it just, yeah, doesn't, doesn't look good. This part though is upper and these are a size 38 so um i think it's size eight both of them look to be about the same i don't know much i don't know what these people do like what were you walking in anyways i don't know much about this brand and it's freaking gross so yeah. we'll, we'll see about these these are cork ease they're original and i don't know but these feel nice, so they're probably like good. These are leather upper, man-made materials. They're booties. They're like suede or full suede booties. And the bottom's leather. You can like, you can't tell, but I can tell by picking these up that these were um, leather. And it has like the tulip like hemline kind of. And there's a zipper on the back. I think it's stuck. Is it stuck? Oh, yeah, it's, oh no, it's just, it's a little tough. And these are a size seven. Has like a, a roundish toe. Here's the other ones. These ones have definitely some, a lot more wear on them. Like all this discoloration here. Kind of like whoever was walking just rub it together or it could be from um the boots not the boots uh people's pants rubbing on it because it also has it up here at the top so it probably was their their jeans dye they rubbed on it and last but not least last but not least here we go these are I thought these were Doc Martens. I was like, why? Why would they send me Doc Martens? But these are, I think, um, knockoff ones. They are, what does it say? I don't know what that says, but they're like knockoff dark Doc Martens. They feel nice. They are blue. They, oh, wait a second. Are these real Doc Martens? I think they are. The bottom says Dr. Martin's air cushion sole. They are Dr. Martin's. Dr. Martin's. These are made in China though, but wow. So they're blue. I really like this color. They are a size. Um, they are a size. What's US male, US lady maybe? size four or five so i'm thinking these are kids shoes which could probably be women's shoes as well wow this is so crazy sorel nike madewell javinci if it's real doc martens these are really nice it's so funny because i was just talking to my husband about doc martens how i wanted some but there is some wear to them like on the toes area there's some wear but i might be able to get that off and you know you can see some creasing on where people's oh you can see some creasing on where the shoe bends but other than that like they look really good they look like they don't have that much wear to the sole or anything like i'm super i'm super stoked about this whole box like all of them all 50 pairs all 50 pairs so i'm going to put the rest of the shoes up on the bed so i can give you guys a big overview and i'll be right back all right guys, so here is the snapshot of everything that I have. I didn't even count the shoes, so I'll count that in a second and I'll include it on the screen for you guys right here. But basically it starts back there. Those are the largest shoes, 11s, nine and a half. And then from there on is literally eights, eights and a half all the way down to 
fives and kids shoes. So these are my two pair of kids shoes, boys and girls. These are basically this front row right here, all fives, five and a half, sixes. These are all sixes. And then it goes to seven and a half over here. I have some basically see i ran out of space when i started this so these are all like eights right here literally all this right here this big entire thing are eights these are some eights and a half then we have some sevens and a half those eights and a half so i ran out of room these are my eights and a half these are my seven and a half i mean and then these are my eights basically right here in the middle so i got a lot of eights some kids shoes no men's shoes. I thought these were men's back here, but these are women's eights. And then those are women's eights and a half. And these are women's eights and a half as well. I put them on, a little bit of room. I'm an eight, those eights and a half. So let's just quickly look at them. Honestly, you guys, that's everything. And I am a super, super happy about this box. I think this was great. Honestly, do I think I would do it again? I would, I really would. I was so nervous because I've watched other people's videos where they literally got crap, you know? And then I've seen other people videos where they got great stuff. Like Melissa, she's got great stuff, but here I am. You know, I, I think I got some great stuff. Obviously there's some things that aren't that great, but let's be serious, the great stuff outweighs the stuff that isn't that great in my opinion. So I really think they did a great job with this box. Um, obviously it's all random. You never know what you're gonna get. There's nothing you can do about it. It's, it, I know it's a big chunk of change and you need to really weigh your options here. Like I did, I literally sat on this decision for, I wanna say almost two months. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna buy it. And I think it was a great decision on my part. So I'm super excited to uh, resell all this stuff and get the stuff listed. I only think I'm gonna probably redonate about maybe three at most five pairs of shoes. So remember, if you see anything you like, then go ahead and comment down below or shoot me a DM and I will get this shipped out to you. And yeah, I'll quote you a price with the shipping included. Call it a day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Give me a follow. You guys are the greatest. I love y'all. Bye.